this video, we will highlight changes to the Jet Function Wizard, or JFX, which were introduced in Jet Essentials 2012. This version introduces a totally redesigned JFX. With this release, we focused on making the JFX easier to use, faster to learn, and more efficient to use than ever before. If you've used the Jet Function Wizard in earlier products, you will immediately spot significant changes to the interface. The JFX now includes a row of buttons along the top, which will be helpful in creating reports. The first button allows you to change your Jet Function to an NL, NF, NP, or GL function. Let's start by creating a simple query using the general ledger or GL function. The Help tab now provides a description of the value that will be returned with your GL query. For example, with no dates entered, you can see that the GL function will return the current amount. When a date is entered, the description changes. With only an end date entered, you can see that the GL function will return the amount on that date. When both a start date and an end date are entered, you can see that the GL function returns the net change between the dates. In prior versions of the JFX, global dimensions were generically titled as Global Dimension 1 and Global Dimension 2. In the new JFX window, the names of the global dimensions from your database appear in the JFX window, making it obvious what dimensions you are using. Similarly, when using analysis views, the advanced dimension names now appear in the JFX window. We will now demonstrate more of the new features in the JFX by generating this report on customer sales and balances. We'll start by creating a row for each of our active customers. The new incremental find allows you to find an item very quickly. A small triangle dropdown appears in the right edge of the active field. If you select this, you will see a list of potential values with a search field at the top. Type a few letters in the search field to quickly see a list of potential values. The more letters you enter, the shorter the list. The first item in the list is highlighted. If you hit enter, this item will be selected. If you would like to select a different item from the list, you can continue typing until the item is highlighted, or select the item using your mouse, or use the up-down arrows to scroll through the list and then click the Enter button. A nice feature of the incremental find is that you can search for a word. So here you can see that our search returned name, name to, and search name. If you prefer using the keyboard in lieu of a mouse, the F6 button can be used to open the lookup window. With the NL functions, you will see that the orientation of filter pairs has changed. You can select the field that you want to add as a filter, and to the right of this, enter the value. This side-by-side -side orientation provides a more intuitive way to add filters. Microsoft Dynamics Nav includes features which they call Advanced Dimensions. Jet Essentials 2012 makes it very easy to harness the power of your advanced dimensions in your reporting. If you have advanced dimensions, they will appear along with the other fields in your table. You can easily select your advanced dimension as a filter and apply a value. By holding down the Shift key, you can select a range of values. By holding down the Control key, you can select specific values. The Evaluate Function button allows you to see 
the query function as it will be written, the result of your query, and if there is an error in your query, a description of what is wrong. We'll add the customer group code and run this report. We've now made a report showing our active small and medium-sized customers in Great Britain. The customer City Power and Light should have a customer group code, but does not. This is because we are trying to filter on a field which contains a special character, in this case, an ampersand sign. We'll use another new feature of the JFX to address this issue. While we're at it, We'll change the sorting of the list to sort the customers by their customer group. We'll go back into design mode to make these changes. Our query refers to the customer name in cell C7. The special characters in this filter prevent the report from operating as intended. The Allow Special Characters button resolves this issue. By applying the Allow Special Characters to the filter, the query will now return values for all the customer names. The new JFX window includes a sorting button to make it easy to control the order of your data. You can click on this button to sort ascending, sort descending, or omit the sorting. Now when we refresh this report, we see our customers sorted by customer group code, and we see the customer group code is associated with all of our customers. Let's continue modifying this report to demonstrate even more new features of the JFX. We'll add sales data to the report and add a report options panel. We'll start by creating our report options panel. This creates a pop-up window when the report is run, allowing the user to modify the parameters of their report. We'll use a snippet to create a report options panel, which includes a start date, an end date, and a company. We'll use Excel's named range functionality to add names to the cells for start date, end date, and company. We'll now be able to use these named ranges to refer to the cells. Selecting Refresh provides us a preview of the Report Options pop-up window. We'll now modify this report so that it will return data from the customer-selected company rather than the default company that appears in the Jet Ribbon. To do this, we'll modify the two queries we made earlier. The JFX provides a list of keywords, which provide tremendous capability to your queries. You can see a list of the keywords that are appropriate to your query and select from this list. These keywords allow you to do such things as set a query to return data from a specified data source or company. This overrides the default data source and company that is shown in your Jet Ribbon. Set a limit to the number of records that you want returned, link to another table, and much more. The specific list of keywords that appear depend on your query. We'll use a keyword to specify the company for our query. We'll use the new Insert Named Range button. Here we can see a list of the named ranges that are in our Excel workbook. These are the named ranges that we created in our Report Options panel. 
Let's do the same to specify the company in our second query. If you prefer keyboard shortcuts, use F3 to bring up the list of named ranges. The F3 shortcut works throughout Excel. We'll now create a query to return the sales for this customer for the viewer specified date range. The JFX now includes a calendar entry format for dates. Here you can select a single date or hold down the left button of your mouse and drag to select a range. Selecting the heading of a calendar once allows you to select a month. Click once more to select a year. You can then select the year, month, and dates. For this report, however, we don't want to hard code the date range in the filter, but instead, we want to filter on the dates from the Report Options pop-up window. We'll use the new Nested Jet Functions feature for this. The Nested Jet function allows you to nest a jet function inside another jet function. This can be used to create reports with very clever logic. We'll demonstrate this feature by inserting a JET function which creates a date range. We'll use the named ranges for our start date and our end date. The Evaluate Function button allows you to evaluate the nested function. The breadcrumb shows your location inside the query. This is helpful if you ever need to nest multiple functions inside a function. Select back to return to the outer function. Here you can see the nested function. We'll use the keyword to specify the company for this query. Our report is now ready to run. With the new JFX, it's almost unbelievable how quickly you can create reports. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy the new JFX.